there you guys I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these avocado seed beads earrings. I'm showing them step by step so I'm sure with these easy instructions you will be able to make them. I'm using brick stitch and they are with this chandelier effect but if you're not familiar don't worry I will show it easy. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell in this way you will be inspired often with my new absolutely free content like this one. Please like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions. Check descriptions for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 seed beads, dark green, light green, white and brown. Here I'm using earring findings in silver color. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 or size 10 even. Here I'm using scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up first are a dark green and a light green and I'm going to slide those down. I will leave here a small tail, let's say 10 inches or 25 centimeters of tail. And now I'm going again through the dark green bead back in circle. And I pull. Then I go through the light green. Take another light green bead and go back through the previous one. Then I need a white. And you see I arrange those beads next to each other with the holes pointing in one direction and they have these thread bridges between them. And I'm going to add four brown beads. Okay, now I will add a white, two light greens and a green. I will mirror this part. Okay, now I have this, but I'm not satisfied how they, they sit. That is why I'm going to reinforce them.
Then I will continue my next row with a dark green and a light green. And I will go here under the second thread bridge that I have. Then I will go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. And I will reinforce my beads. I'm reinforcing them because as I go, they go through the second thread bridge, they stretch and don't sit and don't sit nice and straight. That is why I do this. A light green. A white. And I'm going here under the next thread bridge. I need three brown beads. And then I will repeat this sequence, a white, two light greens and a dark green. Again I take a dark green and a light green and pay attention, I go here under the second thread bridge, just like I did before. And I go through the light green, which is closer to the center of my work. And again I reinforce. This is the way I start each row, because here I do decreasing brick stitch. Each row is with less beads than the previous one, that is why I take two and go under the second thread bridge. And then guys, I need a light green, go under the next thread bridge, then a white, two browns, a white, Two greens, two light greens and a dark green. Now I start the next row like, like all the rows before with a dark green and a light green and I go under the second thread bridge here because you know in this row I have with one bead less than the previous so I always go through the second thread bridge in this work and then I reinforce because my beads stretch if I don't reinforce them since they go through the second thread bridge they stretch a little bit and I need to reinforce them. Okay, now I will add the rest beads of this row of camera. I tell you, I will tell you which they are and I'll add them. And they are white, brown, white, two light greens and a dark green. 
Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just finished this row with the sequins I told you. And now I'm going to add again a dark green and a light green like always. I go under the second thread bridge here. And I do the familiar thing of going through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. And reinforcing. And what I'm going to add next is a light green, two white beads, two light greens and a dark green. Okay, I'll add them off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And you know already how I start each and every row here. And now what, one by one I'm going to add the following sequence. Light green, white, two light greens and a dark green. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just finished this row the same way I told you. And now again I'm starting with absolutely the same step here. Then I will add three more light greens and one dark green and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I just finished this row and when I continued adding beads, the whole row consists of one dark green, four light greens and one dark green. And the next row will consist of one dark green, three light greens and one dark green. And the first two I added the familiar way that I showed you all the time. So I guess you could do this row by yourself. Okay, do, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just finished this row and it consists of one dark green, three light greens and one dark green. And the next row will consist of one dark green, two light greens and one dark green. Okay, I'll do this off camera the familiar way, starting with a dark and a light green and the second thread bridge and reinforcing and then I'll be back. And you see what I have now guys, I have a row with one dark green, two light greens and one dark green and I have another row with a dark green, a light green and a dark green. Then I need two dark green beads and here I have two thread bridges in my last three beads and I go under the second one like I did all the time. Then I take a green bead, dark green bead, an earring finding and a dark green bead and I go through the second dark green bead that I have here at the end and then I want to reinforce Okay, then I have this and in my next step what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction. And I want to exit here. at this end and now guys what I'm going to do is to move my needle 
here to this shorter end and to finish my work from this side okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and now i put my needle here at this shorter end of my thread and what i want to do is go through some beads in this direction then here what i want to do is to make a knot and cut my thread and how i do this i make here a loop i go once i go second time through this loop i've made and i pull and then i go in this direction through those beads and i cut my thread okay now i will move back my needle at this end and we'll continue okay and uh, now guys we continue to the chandelier part of our avocado earrings and how we continue now i take 24 dark green beads and i go here in this last green bead okay now i have this then in my next step i'm going in the neighbor light green bead okay guys and in my next step i want to add 20 light green beads and i'm going here in the neighbor light green okay and i pull and when i add them guys i should check if my beads stay nice and tight the outer row surrounding the inner one if not feel free to add less beads than me or more beads than me because uh, you know every manufacturer from lot to lot changes a little bit the sizes of the beads and uh, there might be a small difference in the size and then you might uh, want to add just a little bit less or just a little bit more beads to make them stay nice okay for me now i think 20 beads is okay and in my next step i'm going here in the neighbor light green now in this row in the next row i'm going to add 16 light green beads and i go here in the neighbor light green and pull and again it is the same thing if it doesn't stay okay you could remove on or add more beads to make it stay nice and well surrounded then i go in the white bead okay guys and if you have noticed in each row i decrease the number of, be of beads with four but now because my light beads although they are the same size 11 like the others they are a little bit smaller that is why here i will decrease the number with three and i will add 13 white beads okay you could do the same thing if it doesn't look okay go back and add a different number of beads and it will work then in my next step i'm going in the brown bead and in this row guys i need seven brown beads and again i'm going like this to add them in my next step i'm going in the neighbor brown and what i'm going to do is to add three brown beads only three this time now in my next step guys i 
I will go through some beads in this direction. I'm going to make a loop here and go twice through the loop I've made and pull. And I will go through the neighbor few beads in this direction. And I'm going to cut my tail thread here. Okay guys, and now my beaded avocado earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button. And in this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You could also check description for full list of materials and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Please like, share and comment. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.